All right, so here in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use unique function and how this function can actually solve a lot of problems for you. So you can replace using complex formulas with unique function. So the idea is pretty simple. Unique function can help you to get unique values from a list of values where you have duplicate values. So in this list, I have few names which are in duplicate. Let's say John. And I also have one more name that is Emma. So what I want here, I want to have a list of names where I don't want these names again. I just want unique values. So I'm going to enter the unique function. And in unique function, I have three different arguments. The first argument is required, which is just specifying the range or the array where you have the values. And the second argument, which is not required, but you can specify. So this argument helps you to define if you want data, unique data from rows or you want unique data from columns. So in most of the cases, our data is basically, you know, in rows, we want unique rows instead of columns. So I'm going to go with false. And in the third argument, which is quite useful, you can specify if you really want to have unique values or you want to have values which are actually unique. Those values which don't have any duplicate value itself. So I'm going to go with unique values for all the values and I'm going to specify false here. I'm going to close the function and hit enter. But if I go with, let's say, instead of false, I'm going to go with true to show you how it works. You can see I have four names here and here I have seven names which are basically unique, all the unique names. But here I have four names. So these four names are basically which are appears that appear only once. So this is the difference between using true and false in the exact ones argument. Now moving to the second example, I have the same list here, but now I'm going to count the unique values. So I will simply use count A and then I'll use unique. Select the range, close both of the functions, hit enter. And here I have my unique count of values. And in the third example, I have same list of values again, but now instead of using count, I'm going to use the sort function, which is also a new function in Excel. And again, I'm going to use unique function. Now, when you use these two functions all together, it will not only give you unique list of names, but it will also sort the names, the list for you using a default A to Z order.